So we have some pretty interesting information that just came out from Brian Gudikins. I just made an entire video right before this other video came out from him um, about a few different things he had to say in this private league meeting um, or private um, talk with some different reporters. And just recently, Matt Schneidman of The Athletic, Packers reporter, just put out a video of Brian Gudikins um, basically saying that when the season, after the season was over, the Packers and Rodgers had a few talks, but not really much about the future. And then Brian Gutekunst was wanting to talk more about how Rodgers fit into the Packers' future. But apparently he tried to reach out to him many different times, and Rodgers never responded. I guess, I don't know if he was calling him and he didn't answer, but Brian Gutekunst was trying to reach out to have these conversations about how Rodgers fit into the future. And Brian Gutekunst is saying that Rodgers did not respond or answer um, however, Brian Gutekunst was reaching out to him. And at that moment, Brian Gutekunst, he just said that he had to decide to, um, you know, move forward for the Packers because Rodgers wasn't answering his calls, which is pretty interesting because we heard, you know, Rodgers say that after the darkness retreat, he came out and then, um, you know, said that he found out the Packers were shopping him. And I, I, let me just show you this clip real fast. As I said, it's from Matt Schneidman. He posted it pretty recently, but I think it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. So let me try to flip my phone around and uh, show you this clip real quickly and then um, finish off the video. So here here we go on Twitter. Everything you and Aaron did to, I don't wanna say repair the relationship but the last two years after he you know, said everything he did a couple years ago. Then he comes out a couple weeks ago and says you basically went behind his back to shop him and he didn't seem too pleased from your perspective. How did the last couple months kind of transpire? Yeah, I didn't really take his comments like that and it's certainly not true. I mean, I think, you know, as we got out of the off season or after the season and we, we had a good conversation um, and then, you know, we'll, we're going to have some follow-up conversations and our inability to reach him or for him to respond in any way, I think at that point, then we just kind of had to, we had to, I had to do my job and kind of reach out and understanding that a trade could be possible uh, and see who was interested, but that shopping was never really part of that. So, so when you gave him that contract extension, you've said publicly your intention was for him to not just play last season to play beyond that at what point did it shift to okay we need to move on yeah i think so i think obviously it was a disappointing season right and you come out of the season you have a lot of conversations not only with Aaron, but with uh, the rest of the team coaches and everybody and as you go through that process you kind of get an idea of where you're going to move to you know as a team how you're going to go forward and i think i was really looking forward to the conversations with Aaron to see how he fit into that uh, those never transpired so I, you know there, there came a time where we kind of had to we had to make some you know decisions so we went through his representatives to try to kind of talk to him where we were going with our team and at that point um you know they informed us they would like to, to be traded to the jets but, but you just said you, you did try and reach out to have those conversations oh, yeah. is what you said okay. all right sorry for the the blinds shining on the screen it wasn't the best quality video on my point um or for me but um that was from matt schneidman as i said his video but that's pretty interesting because when we look at the timetable, it sounded like until we found out that Rodgers wanted to um, play for the Jets, that the Packers were, at least for a while, sounded like they were willing to wait as long as possible for Rodgers to come back and make his decision. And so as I was watching this video, I had another thought where it's like Rodgers was you know, taking his time, trying to decide, does he want to play football? Does he want to retire? He hadn't made up his mind. And Brian Gutekind is saying that he basically wanted to have these discussions sooner and he was reaching out to Rodgers to try to have these discussions. I'm guessing Rodgers didn't answer because he wasn't ready to make his decision. I don't exactly know that. Um, but it seemed like Brian Gutekunst wanted to have some kind of idea of the future, maybe a little bit earlier than Rodgers was ready to say that. And so when Aaron Rodgers didn't respond, Brian Gutekunst said, you know what, okay, we have to you know, make a plan to move forward. Um, and so, I, I mean, I understand that perspective from Brian Gutekunst. Maybe he didn't want to wait till Rodgers got out of the darkness retreat to, um, you know, to have all these discussions. And so I guess when Rodgers got out, he was shocked that Brian Gutekunst had already sort of, I guess, moved on from that, um, and intended to maybe move on to Jordan Love potentially. And I guess that Rodgers, I mean, it's just sort of interesting because Gutekunst seemingly reached out to him beforehand, but Rodgers wouldn't respond. So, um, maybe if Rodgers would have responded, maybe they could have figured something else out and things could have gone a little smoother than Rodgers coming out of the darkness retreat and seeing that the Packers were having trade talks with other teams. I don't exactly know, um, but it's a pretty interesting scenario. Please leave your comments on the situation in the comment section down below, and um, we'll see what transpires here in the next few months with the Packers and Jets. And as I said in the last video, summarizing a few bullet points, Brian Gutekinds did say that 
He doesn't necessarily need a first round pick from the Jets, which is interesting. Maybe he'd rather he'd be fine with the two seconds they have now, which personally I'd be just as fine with. It sort of equals a first round pick. Um, also, he said that when asked by a reporter, reported by Tom Pelissero, that um, they asked basically, is, is it sort of something like around the lines of, would it be possible for Rodgers to play in Green Bay again? And, and he said, um, it's not likely, but all options are on the table. So who knows what's going to happen here? The Jets and Packers still sort of seemingly, uh, you know, sort of in a standoff deciding who's going to, who's going to cave and maybe give more than they really want to, or, or I guess it would be on the Jets. Are the Jets going to cave and give more than they want to, or are the Packers going to say, okay, we'll take less. And with Ron Gutekind saying he doesn't necessarily need to take a first round pick, that could be him coming back because it was reported in the past couple of weeks that the Packers wanted that number 13 pick. So who knows? Um, we'll see what transpires here, but I thought that was pretty interesting. So as I said, feel free to leave your comments down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all Packers news, feel free to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time.